A rubric is a powerful tool for providing information to students before assessment or evaluation regarding what's expected of them. When used on an assessment or evaluation, it can provide rich, robust feedback to a student afterwards as well. With Brightspace, it's really easy to create a dynamic rubric incorporating multimedia and web links, as well as creating rich, robust feedback that can be used for all students. While creating the rubric itself is easy, there's a number of choices that you can make along the way, and so this one minute workflow video will be a bit longer. Don't worry, it'll be worth the time. To begin, click on Rubrics. Select New Rubric and give your rubric a title. By default, four levels show up on the rubric. If you'd like to add more levels above the level four, click on the plus sign on the side. To add more levels below level one, click on the plus sign on the side. If you want to delete any columns, simply click on the garbage can and it will delete that entire column. Begin filling out your rubric by entering in the criterion descriptor, as well as level descriptor, and any initial feedback that you wish to provide the students. This initial feedback will be able to be edited when you use a rubric. So, think about writing it in such a way that it would apply to most students. You can always tweak it for the specific examples on a given assignment or evaluation. Here, you can see I've completed filling in the information regarding my rubric. For each of these boxes, I could have formatted the text by adding bold or italics, creating a bulleted list, or by using the Insert Stuff tool to insert a video image or web link into my rubric. This can be especially helpful when trying to create visual exemplars of what each different level might look like. If I want to add in additional criteria, I simply click on Add Criteria at the bottom. To delete any row of criteria, I can use the garbage can, and to rearrange the order of criteria, I simply use the dots at the side and drag to a new order. Some educators like to create a rubric that's organized by overall expectations with a series of criteria related to each overall expectation that they are assessing or evaluating. To do this in the Rubrics tool, simply click on Add Criteria Group, and a new box will form below. Here, you could then enter your overall expectation and the criteria that are relevant to the overall expectation, along with descriptors and feedback that you'd like to provide. At the very bottom of the rubric, you'll see the overall score. This overall score is given to students in addition to the feedback that shows up on the rubric itself, and is a way for you to provide additional information regarding how a student has performed on a particular assessment or evaluation. One of the really handy tricks is to add an additional level here. So where your rubric will be set up on four levels, your overall score could include pluses and minuses. For example, four pluses, four minuses, three pluses, three minuses, along with relevant feedback you'd like to provide to the student at each of those levels. Notice that as you've been typing, your rubric is saved as you work. This is really handy, and should you walk away from any rubric, you won't lose any information. The other thing to take note of is the status. Your rubric should say published. The published rubrics are then available to be added to assignment drop boxes or discussion forums to be used in assessments or evaluations. In the next video, we'll demonstrate how to add a rubric to an assessment or a discussion forum. Once you've finished, simply click on close.